name's Calvin Fuller, and today we're going to learn to tie the rooster rouster. It's a fly developed for Baja for fly fishing from the beach or off a boat, and it basically mimics a sardina pattern. Okay, today we're going to tie a uh, rooster fish fly. We call it the rooster rouster. It's a fly that me and a couple friends came up with, and it copies a few good aspects of some other saltwater rooster fish and dorado flies, but this one's tied on a uh, three-out tarpon hook and it uses some new material that we just got in last year. So this is a Gamagatsu three-out tarpon hook. It's a little bit heavier hook. Um, I like the heavier hook. Gives a little extra weight so they sink it down. So if you're fly when you're stripping it in as fast as you can, it's not skipping on the surface. It's still staying submerged. And then the material for the body on this, we just use simple crystal flash and we use this it's called Steve Ferrar's Flash Blend. And this comes in 15, 20 different colors. So you can really be creative which, with whatever you want to do. Uh, you want to use a little bit heavier thread. I'm using a 210 thread here. You can use Kevlar thread or 3 aught anything heavy. You just want a heavier gauge for your saltwater flies. Start by wrapping the hook about halfway back. Uh, since a saltwater fly a bait fish pattern, you're going to want to just look for all you need is to create a profile for the bait fish. And with this uh, Steve Farr's flash blend, you don't actually have to put stack a whole bunch of material. You can literally run strand underneath and then two layers on top, and then that's going to give you your bait fish profile. Now, first thing I like to do with this flash blend is take and I grab a zip tie and I run a zip tie right through the middle of it and that way you just have better control of the material and it doesn't spread all over the place and you can pretty much you can work with it you can pick off however much you want like that so that's something I suggest not everybody does it though okay so first thing we're gonna do is grab a few strands of crystal flash Kind of pull out the short ones here, make sure they're all nice and even. Now with this crystal flash, it's kind of going to set your body length. This is basically going to be about the middle of the fly right here. So it's going to be the first part that goes on. So usually this uh, sardina pattern, um, they run anywhere from two to four inches in length. Sometimes you can tie them a little bigger just to perhaps entice the fish a little bit more. So doesn't really matter. I go about that long. It's about four, four inches long for this fly. So you just tie this in. Try to keep it on top of the hook if you can. Trim it off. Now what I use here, you can see it pretty much just flops around. I like to get this part stiff right here. So when I tie on my body profile with the flash blend, which is a pretty supple fiber, it's not going to wrap under the hook. So I add Gorilla Glue or Super Glue, whatever you want, right there to keep this part of the fly stiff. That way it acts like a, just acts like a guard, just like a material guard. Just a couple drops all, all you need, it's pretty powerful stuff. So you can see it's already starting to harden. And it's going to, when this fly is completely done, what's going to happen is this is just going to be, I mean, it's going to be hard as a rock. And it's going to be fairly tough. I mean, after fish chews on a little bit, it's obviously going to start to break up. But that'll be a good thing fish chews on a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to start this fly and put some material on the bottom. Um, on a sardina pattern, they usually go, usually as white on the bottom. Any bait fish white or pearl white, off white works and then it's there's several shades of olive, uh, light olive, dark olive, peacock um, and then the brown works really good as well. So I'm going to take about it's about a pretty good decent little amount right there for the bottom of the fly. Turn it off. 
So then right here, you want to kind of just split the fibers on the hook. So you try to get even amounts on both sides as best you can. And go ahead and tie it in. Try to keep it on the bottom of the hook so it doesn't spin around the hook. Trim. And I like to tie it all the way down to the front because basically you're starting to build up a head on this fly that you're going to stick your eyes onto. So that's basically it. Now with this stuff too, I kind of like to pull it a little bit tight right there. And I also like to add just a little bit of glue. This just gets the body, just makes less fouling of the fly when you're stripping in the fly fast. Or if a fish hits it, misses it, and comes back, hopefully you want the fish, hopefully you want the pattern to remain swimming straight after the fish comes back for a second time. So you can see that's the bottom of our fly right there. Uh, I'm going to go with white again just because most of the bait fish patterns are primarily white pearl base. So you can see we're starting to get a profile and this this flash bend looks really nice because it has longer fibers in it so you can see her body's kind of bulky here, and you're going to get this nice curved profile. You're all said and done. So now we're going to add our second color, and this color you can go pretty much anything. You can do brown, purple. Uh, some guys will add a, a slight brown in here, then go green. Which we're going to go ahead and do. So with this fiber, it's good to kind of pull on it and get all the basically you can see if you just sit here and pull on you can see what you're going to get before you actually put it on the fly so that's going to be the next layer that goes on I'm going to go just a little bit longer than the white so when this fly is in the water it'll actually create more of a profile of a bait fish Final color, we're just going to go all over the top. <clears throat> so again, we're just going to go a little bit longer, that top layer. You can see it's starting to actually get a bait fish profile to it. a little bit. So that's the basic of our fly. Like that's the body of the fly. There's lots of different options you can add to this fly. Um, something I like to do is add a single peacock curl strand to the side. Acts like a lateral line. Uh, both sides it makes the fly look really good. And then usually you can top it with some crystal flash or even uh, I'm thinking here, cashmere goat works really well because it's a natural fiber but it flows really well in the water and this is the shoulder of your fly so I like to make that piece the longest it's going to look like that, just adds a little more flash, a little more movement probably mostly comes into play as the fly is falling between strips Finish it off. Then I like to use these uh, hairline pupil 3D eyes. You can see they're kind of a natural eye shape on them. And most fish 
that's the direction of the eye. And if you look at a picture of a sardina, their eye is actually curved up like that. It's more of a vertical eye. So we're going to stick these on to where they're actually up a little bit just to make it just adds adds a little bit of realism. And you got to be confident in your flies. First, let me finish this off here. take these eyes some some people stick them on the body I just put them right on the, the head there the thread works for me just personal preference so now you can see the eyes really don't fit that head there's actually a gap right there well, we're going to add, I like using Loon Hardhead, and then putting it on a fly spinner. And you can be pretty generous with this stuff because you want it to fill in everywhere. pretty good and that's it and then we're gonna go ahead and put it on the fly merry-go-round turn this thing on and then th what this is gonna do is just gonna give you a nice even head stuff that dries too fast uh, it'll make the head lopsided but that's it and the fly should be done in about three or four minutes put it in your box good to go